We're back here at 101 Mashi Court in Vienna, checking progress. Let's go inside. The doors are not here yet, that's why um, you see just right now covered area. But the front door will be arriving soon and that will change. Alright, Farza, tell us what you're doing today. Uh, today, after the inspection yesterday, that we passed the inspection for plumbing, electrical, and mechanical, and training, uh, we started doing the insulation. We have already started from the top level down. Um, I'm doing this uh, insulation all around the skylights, insulation all around the perimeter, and I'm also putting sound insulation between the bedroom and the bathrooms and the rest of the spaces. So it would be a quiet um, room, not transferring sounds. Is that much. normally done? No, normally it's only they put drywall and inside I added the sound insulation so there would be a separation between the private and living spaces. And uh, you? You can see here, for example, there is a bedroom and the bathroom above, so I'm insulating the ceiling and the wall. Okay. Um, so when people the, are walking upstairs, you don't hear them you very well. The noise and the sound and the you know water in the bathrooms, all sorts of noise that can be controlled. Oh, that's good. The, the insulation, of course, exterior insul insulations are over and above R values, standard R values. Um, beside that, um, there is a plan to do drywall right after the inspection of insulation next week. Uh, so the drywall would be uh, taking maybe about two, three weeks. What is that foamy insulation you you were mentioning? The foam insulation. Um, I do a combination of foam around the, the perimeter. It's actually a kind of an air seal, and then I add bath insulation between them. Um, I don't know if you can see the skylight. The, the foam is sticking out from the edges, mm -hmm. so all the edges are sealed. I see a little bit around the AC. Yes, so all of them are sealed, uh -huh. and then the bath insulation, so there would be no transfer of heat or cold. That orange foam is what he's talking about. Yes, and the or orange foam, you can see it, we are using for um, a fire stop between the levels and mechanical penetrations and so on. Hmm. So is that the what makes a difference? What did they call it? The fire? The fire separation. Separation. Yeah. Oh, yes. so you so have fire separation fire, on this fire level. Fire stop or fire block. Hmm. Uh, cool, okay. I think uh, last time when you were here, we had the temporary stairs around here. They brought the actual stairs, uh, which has a bridge. And this is going to be a partition wall with some kind of a perforation between the living space and the family space back there. And it's open to the skylight. Mm. So the natural light can get into the staircase and the living space here. I feel it's very spacious here, especially when you go to other buildings and come here, if you feel very open. Yes. The, the study room, um, there, is, um, a, there is going to be a double door. They can left open and be open to this space. Mm -hmm. Or they can close it and use the secondary entrance use it as a bedroom mm -hmm. because it has a this is like a second master bedroom actually in mm -hmm. the first floor it has a walk-in closet a double sink and a shower so clearly it can be used as a in-law master suite okay uh, thank you then 
the family room is ready for drywall. Uh, the glass doors are on the way. Uh, I have to put dummy doors. That's the condition of construction these days. Uh, long lead time. It's going to be a huge deck to the family room and a screen porch on the side. So you can have going from the screen porch into the deck. Mm. And you have the same balcony upstairs for the master bedroom. Um, breakfast area and the kitchen space at the back. The elevator shaft is already installed for uh, future use. And you're going to ha add insulation, right? Insulation would be all around elevator shafts, mechanical rooms, media rooms, everywhere.